<laughs> Shannon, what was your take on that Friday night incident? It was a bad look, and I knew it was going to be a bad look. And he had an easy out. He's like, basketball players don't want to fight. So then you just go there. I mean, you already know what's, gonna, what's not going to happen. Nobody's going to fight. But you want to go there to let your teammates know that we're in this together. And if y'all got something going on, we got something going on. And Skip, and he says, well, I didn't want to get a tech. Let me explain something to Lonzo Ball, and I don't think we'll have this problem moving forward. You know what's more important than you receiving a tech, Lonzo? Your teammates' respect. Now, I'm going to show you the incident. Now, you watch him. Now, he walks by uh, uh, Caldwell Pope and Tyler Eulis. Eulis pushes uh, KCP. He walks by him. Now, watch Lonzo walk into I mean, you're going to see Lonzo walk to the screen. He's already walking away. He walked walk away. Now, sh- I want you- now, watch Josh Jackson. Can we get the video of Josh Jackson? Watch Josh Jackson. Look what he does. I see he's sprinting right there. They're both rookies, Skip. <laughs> now, you see the difference in the two. Mm. That's why they- What did everybody say when he's coming out? Josh Jackson got that dog in him. Mm. Josh, Jackson, that- Josh, ja- Josh Jackson is that guy? Would you the, rather have Josh Jackson or Lonzo skip, Ball? Skip, see, I'm just they, asking. I'm just asking skip, a question. The question was, mm. and with anything, so you try to go back. I'm telling you how to play it. If it was not a big deal, the players would not have spoken to it, would they, Skip Bayless? No. What did Luke Walton I say? So deal. it had nothing to do with who was the better player. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, is that when something goes down, mm-hmm. you better make your teammates think you're down with them. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with about talent. Yeah. It's about respect. Yeah. And if this is a perfect opportunity, if you're going to be a leader, you can't be a leader walking away. No. Now, I tell you that, and I don't care how many assists, if those guys don't respect you, you'll have a problem in your locker room. There's mm. no doubt about it. And I, and I thought his explanation was as lame as you can get when he's talking about the technical aspect. Because there are good techs and there are bad techs. Correct. Mm-hmm. A good tech is defending a teammate in no matter what, just go over there, make sure everybody's okay in the county Rob, court, you're not asking right? them to leave the bench. No. You were on the court. You were on the court, and you looked at the Walk right by. and walked by it. A bad tech would be a close game at the end. You're beefing with the referee. They tech you up and, and give the other team a chance to, to take the lead right. or tie the game or something. Right. That's a bad tech. Right. That's a good tech. And this won't happen again because I guarantee you whoever that player was, and I'm sure it was more than one, Talk to him about the importance of, of being a teammate. Mm-hmm. And I think he looked really bad in that. It's not the end of the world, but I guarantee you it won't happen again. Mm. I agree it was a bad look. But what I don't like so far about Lonzo Ball is he plays with a nonchalant arrogance that sometimes doesn't benefit him on the floor during play or during a moment like this because his IQ is so high that he took one glance over his shoulder. He knew nothing was going to come of it, because nothing usually does. And it's like, that's beneath me. I don't do that. I I don't get involved in that stuff. So he just keeps on walking. Well, obviously, you've got to look the part. You don't have to do what Josh Jackson, you don't have to sprint across the court. But you don't have to go out there swinging. You need to show your teammates that you're going to turn around and at least join the fray in in moral support. Come on, guys. How about this? Uh, Come on, guys. Break it up. Come on. Now, we don't don't need that. Even if you're just a peacemaker. Yes. But as he said, it's the NBA, people ain't really going to fight. And that's the, tr- that's the truth of this point, but it's not what you're saying. You just have to show yeah. your support of your teammates. And whether it's bogus or not, you just have to look the part. And, and he, again, do you think he lost a lot of respect in his locker room? Because Luke Walton just raved about him and defended him on this. He said, I really don't care how it looks because he's one of the few rookies I've ever seen that everybody is just kind of drawn to. My group, he says, loves playing with Lonzo Ball because he shares the wealth. He's but, the most unselfish player I've ever seen but, to a fault. But think about it, Skip. He's already said it. It's the NBA. Nobody wants to fight. So now you can. It's not like you're in a bar and people are yeah. smoking the ball. Or you run right. up there. So right. There's no they, danger. Right. To right. It. They're right. already right. squabbling. Right. So you already know if you run up in it, you about to go down with it too. Right. Mm-hmm. So and you're he, not going to get knocked out. Right. Or somebody's no. going to turn around. Oh, they don't, no. it's, right. It's, it's Nobody's going to call the cops. Right. You know, it's like the, you're right. not going to get arrested. Exactly. You know? He's already said it. Well, it's the NBA. Nobody really wants to fight. So that's easy for me. Now, Skip, I just go on in there. Hey, come on, guys. Let that go. Come on, bro. Hey. Let's, hey, KCP, let's go. Come on, man. We don't need this. But the other part, though, is I, I think people are pushing back. Here's the problem I have with the whole Lonzo thing. He got all this attention before he ever played a game, right? That was cool. Everybody was all in on that. But because he struggled, now people think everybody's nitpicking or 
or, or, or making him an example when he doesn't play well. And you can't have it both ways. When he was playing the summer league, it was the highest rated. Everybody was watching, yeah. paying attention, right? He was and the then, MVP of the summer league. Somebody exactly. Tell me. And also, Skip, if he was playing well, no one would be pushing back about giving him all the credit or attention. It's because he's not playing well right. or consistently playing mm -hmm. well that all of a sudden there's an issue and the media is out to get him. And they always are just... I haven't heard just, anybody say that. Well, some people are thinking that the media just wants to see him fail. I don't think that that's the case. Well, a he lot of people... A lot want, of wait a second. A lot of people want to see his father fail no, I'm talking by about association. The kid. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the kid. I don't think anybody wants to see him, but you got to call it the way you see and, it. And he, has, and he hasn't played, and it's the growing pains of being a, a young player and coming into it, because he's a grown man. You're not playing for books and tuition now. You're playing for, you're playing for mortgages. Play you're for playing money. for college tuition. So it's a different, it's a different expectation level. Yep. Because you, you are a pro now, although you're only 20, you're still a professional, Skip. And so now you have to, you know, he's struggling a little bit. That's okay. That's to be expected. But I don't think you thought he would be shooting 30%. No. But he's had two triple doubles so far. Skip. And by the way, in his second triple double the other night, he had 16 rebounds. So you have to have, don't you have to have some level yeah. of toughness to yeah. get 16 That's rebounds? That's want to. That's want to. Right? That is. No doubt about it, Skip. But the triple double thing, really, is that, is that does that erase all the bad play because he's oh. had two triple doubles? And I'm not trying to discount it. Yeah. But it's not the end all be all. For the most part, up until this point, I would say he's been more of a bust than anything. And I'm talking about... You call him a bust? A bust to this point. I'm not saying a bust for his career or a bust forever or whatever, but I'm saying to this point, he is not as advertised. Mm. I personally felt like I got duped a little bit. Okay, let me ask mm. you a question, Scott. <laughs> you and I both know perception is reality, and, and, and uh, that's a person... Perception is a person's reality, and that's not always the truth. What do you think the perception is of Lonzo Ball is around the NBA? Not aggressive enough, and I don't get it because I saw aggression at UCLA. I saw it in the summer league. I see passive. I see timid. I see disconnected from the offense. I see standing around, except the other night against Denver. It, maybe he, he cut his hair finally, and I liked it. I liked the new look of his, his shorter hair, and it's like – the opposite of Samson. Well, now, you yeah. cut your hair, and all of a sudden he was aggressive against Den Denver's a good team. Now, now, now yeah. he just took but it to him. See, again, you yeah. mentioned UCLA. Yeah. Those are those are kids. No, I got. He it. in a league now with grown ass men. Okay, but what does Luke Walton keep saying? He has never ever seen a kid come into any league under more pressure, which is what I've been saying all along. Has there been any more pressure on any rookie ever in any sport than on this kid because of his that? father? No question. Simply because I, I'll, of his I'll father. give you that, but okay. I, but, I, but I also think that. Uh, that that Lonzo, I think people just expected something different. And I think Patrick Beverly set the tone from day one. Mm -hmm. And maybe he put him in that shell or, you know, that you're talking about where he was aggressive at college or he felt mm -hmm. empowered against mm -hmm. what, what I call mostly fodder in college because right. most of the kids aren't good enough and right. aren't going to the next level. Right. So you get to this level and here's Patrick Beverly in your grill and, and, and telling you it ain't going to yep. be an easy ride, kid. And I think that, that put him on his so, heels. So the irony of this whole discussion is, again, Lonzo Ball is the polar opposite of his father because his father in that altercation scene, he would have jumped right in the middle. Yeah. When, when LeVar played, you know, lower-level college basketball, you don't think he would have mixed. He probably would have thrown a but, punch because he's a big, strong... But he had a football mentality. No, he had Remember, a football. He, tried he out did. For the he, well, you know, he, he was on the practice squad. The, thing with Lonzo, the, the problem is yeah. with Lonzo, yeah. he's on a team that Magic Johnson now runs. Wow. Magic Johnson was a point guard and they won the NBA title. So that's the expectation. He plays that position. Yeah. He's supposed to be the next Magic. Well, LeVar set some expectations for him, too. <laughs> yeah. By the way, yeah. Magic the played with the huge million-dollar smile, but you want to talk, he was a fighter, yeah. not a lover. He, yeah. he, was, he would mix it up. Man. Even yeah, remember against same. Isaiah Thomas, oh. they used to get into yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's wait till the all-star break before we start throwing the bus up. Yeah. I'm just saying to this just point, like to this point, I, you don't have a T-shirt for Lonzo. Yet? Not yet. It's, it's coming. The biggest Let's bust. Wait a little bit. <laughs> he got. We got what? Two triple doubles. Yeah. Mm. You ever get into a, a, a fight on the football field? Mm -hmm. Nah. Really? Nah. I mean, I, you know, look, I ain't had times. Um, you know, I, I would woulda, but I'm trying to save my energy because I got to play the game. Or I got to practice. So you'd walk away if somebody. Oh no 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 oh, no no! no. Oh hell no! I couldn't see that. Oh no. oh no! I couldn't. I'm gonna get me a shove in. Mm. <laughs> Who showed Skip me? Skip and I might be the only fighters up here. Who? It sounds like. Uh, no. Skip is more Tony. Mm. 
I'm gonna have, I won't skip to have the well, car Tony. running. Tony. Tony Gonzalez. Wait, did you just take a shot at Tony Gonzalez? Uh, well, yeah. Tony did say he what? wasn't jumping in any fight. Tony from Newport. You, you don't know me very well. Uh, you just keep the car running. Joy and I handle and, everything. And Shannon, <laughs> Shannon, when I come back, I got a big question for you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's what they call <laughs> a tease. You like that? Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.